All right, everyone, we're here with Devonte Smith. We're gonna open up with the first question over to Lucas Wees. Hey, Devonta, thanks for taking the time. Two-part question first, what does it mean to be the AP's College Football Player of the Year? And second, can you just comment on the growth of, of your teammate, John Mechie the third this year and what he's meant to the team? Um, winning the war is it's a blessing just to be in that conversation and to win the award. And um, Mechie, he just, he comes to work every day. He works hard and it's paying off for him. Um, he's in the film room every day. He's going out to practice, working hard, and he, he wants to get better every day. Second question over to Nick Hamilton. Hey, Devonta, uh, thank you for taking the time out. I uh, want to ask you, what, what is the biggest thing you've noticed about your own growth and development on the field as well as off the field? Um, just my attention to detail, how precise I want to be with everything, just wanting to do everything perfect, just getting as perfect as I can with everything that I do. Pat Ford, the floor is yours. Uh, hi, Devonta. I wanted to ask you uh, first about uh, being asked to play defensive back some in spring practice when you were first getting to school there and what your reaction was to that. And then secondly, when you really felt like you belonged and could play at the highest level uh, there at Alabama. Um, playing DB, um, I kind of I felt eventually it was going to come just with the depth and everything that we had going into the spring. Um, I mean, I was willing to do whatever Coach Saban asked me to do. Um, I was comfortable with it. And really, yeah, just do whatever he wanted me to do. Rhea Turner, over to you. Hey, Devante, tell me a little bit about that nickname you have, the Slim Reaper, and how do you plan on using that against Notre Dame? Um, I first heard it from, um, coach Paul, one of the strength and conditioning coaches. He, um, he called me one game and it just kind of stuck to me. And then they said, you know, everybody just started calling me that. And, um, really when it comes to the game, just going out there, just doing my job, executing the game plan. Mike Rodak, you're up. Yeah, Devontae, when you go back to last January and, and think back to your decision to come back for your last year, just how much debate was there in your mind and how much has this season and your success, the team's success, uh, validated that decision? Um, just knowing that I wanted to finish things the right way. I wanted to get my degree. Um, I feel like I made the right decision and a great decision. And being around this team has opened my eyes to a lot of things and just made me very comfortable and glad that I made that decision. Cecil Hurt with the next question. Devonta, when Jalen was injured against Tennessee, did, did that affect you in, in any way in terms of stepping up either as a leader off the field or did it affect your play on the field? Um, when he went down, it just made me want to accept the role to do more. Just feeling that um it's a big play it's a big player that we lost and i just wanted to do more for the team do whatever i can for the team steve moulton go ahead hey Devonte, uh, appreciate the time if you could talk about uh, also being a semifinal uh, fi a finalist for the heisman trophy and really also about uh jalen how much he's helped you maybe since his injury this year um, he's helped me a lot just with the things that he see when he's at the game. He um, talks to him about things that he see. He's still on the sideline helping us with the offensive things like that. And just being here in the film room, just telling us things that he sees. So he helps me and the other players out a lot. Over to Chris Daly. Dante, congrats on winning AP Player of the Year. And you've been lighting it up at Alabama. But you might not be here without a barber shop you went to as a kid. So... What is that barber shop and what did they do to help propel you to start him? Um, he kept me going with everything that's been going on. Um, times when I was down, I was down and I didn't want to play no more. He kept me going, always kept me on the right track, took me places to get these opportunities to play football at the, the highest level. Tony Sakalas, go ahead. 
Devonta, you've had your two best seasons under Steve Sarkeesian. Just what has he done to kind of maybe help your game out a little bit and give you the opportunity to, to shine like you have? Um, he does a lot with his offense, a lot of movement, a lot of shifts, a lot of motions, putting people in different places, helping everybody be successful. Steven Smith, you're up. First and foremost, Devonte, hopefully you had a great Christmas holiday. But uh, the question I had was, when this 2017 group came together, when did y'all first realize we got something really special here, the 2017 offensive unit? Um, well, a lot of us, we went to a lot of camps together. So we talked to each other. Some of us kind of knew where others were leaning to. And some of us were already kind of committed here and it was just everybody just recruiting each other, just building a relationship. And I feel like that's what made us so close is just before we even got here, the relationship that we had. Go ahead, Dennis Freeman. Uh, Devonte, can you talk about uh, the challenges that uh, Notre Dame defense uh, presents to your offense? Um, they fly to the ball, they're very physical. Um, they send all kinds of blitzes and things like that. They're technically sound. They don't make a lot of mistakes. John Feinren, you're up. Yeah, Devontae, could you uh, compare the Notre Dame defense to any defenses that you guys have played this season? Um, really similar to a lot of them. A lot of defense we play, everybody gets to the ball. Everybody try to get the ball out. Edwin Stanton, go ahead. Hey, Devontae, just curious. You know, you could have gone to a lot of different schools, but what was the determining factor for you to coming to Alabama? Um, a place where it was home, away from home. Austin Hugh, over to you. Yeah, Devontae, when you watch Notre Dame's secondary, specifically uh, Kyle Hamilton, what does he do on the field that is uh, tricky and what makes him so successful back there as a safety? Um, they throw in a lot of different looks. Um, they play a lot of their coverages uh, different ways. So it's a lot of the same coverages. Just, they look different with people in different places. Uh, they do a good job of disguising everything. Aaron Suttles, go ahead. Yeah, back to that 2017 recruiting class. When, when it all came together, when you guys were going through spring practice and even workouts together, when did you realize how good it was? I mean, from offensive tackles to the rideouts to, to Dylan Moses, just a lot of talent in that class. Um, just with how close everybody was and everybody's dedication to this team. Just everybody wanting to come in, put in the work, everybody getting together, putting in extra work. George Bashura, you're up. Uh, I think you tapped, tapped me, uh, AP Stedham. All right, go ahead, AP. Okay. Hey, hey Devontae. Uh, Devontae, I haven't heard you say this before. I don't know. Are there a few receivers that you pattern your game after, college players, maybe somebody in your neck of the woods or pro players? or anybody you kind of look and emulated your game after, watch and take parts of it? Um, Keenan Allen and Devontae Allen. And now we'll go over to George. George, go ahead. All right, we have a follow-up with Pat Ford. Uh, yeah, Devonte, you mentioned your, your barber friend who, who kept you going when you didn't want to play anymore. When was it that you didn't want to play and why? Um, my sophomore year in high school, I um, broke my clavicle at a practice and I always wanted to play basketball and I was just really just frustrated with everything and I just didn't want to play no more. Mm -hmm. We'll go back over to Steve Moulton. Devonte, uh, for most of us here out here, uh, we we look at that catch at LSU as kind of your highlight moment of the season. Was that your favorite part of the year? If not, well, what was your maybe favorite moment of 2020 so far? Um, my favorite moment has been the games where it's been a tough game. We've been in a dog fight, and this team just – kept coming together and we kept believing in each other. Offense believed in defense, defense believed in offense. And we just kept fighting as a team. So 
no moment of me specifically, just moments of this team being one. And back over to Pat Ford. Uh, I, I didn't have another question. All right. Any other questions for Devonte Smith? Nick Hamilton, you're up. Hey, Devontae, uh, just a quick follow-up. What is it about Keenan Allen's game that you like so much that you admire about and try to patent your game after? Um, just the details of everything from his releases to his routes, just the small details and everything that he do. Thank you. Joseph Goodman, go ahead. Hey, Devontae, I've always wondered who, who was it that first called you Smitty? How would you get that? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's your last name, but who's the first person who called you that? Um, Coach Napier, when I was getting recruited, he um, always called me Smitty. <laughs> okay, thanks. That looks like all the questions we have for Devontae Smith. 